Hi, I'm Baron Edwards and welcome back to my blog. Yesterday I told you that I was going to take you around to the city that we moved to and show you some of the sights of why we love living here. As you can see, it's a stunningly amazing day. I'm going to get my shoes on, get ready and take you out to the streets. Okay, I've got my sunglasses on and I'm ready to take you out to the streets. I love these old Spanish buildings. Ours is not so impressive. There are some amazing So here we are, we're ready to go out to the street and see what there is. As you can see, I live on one of the main streets, Grand Prix. It's really busy, it's got five lanes, but it's right in the centre of Barcelona, so I can walk everywhere. Barcelona is a city that's surrounded by the north by mountains and south by sea. So it's a really small city and everybody has to live in apartments. And there are those big, grand, high apartments with stunning interiors. Being a fashion designer, I love everything architectural and it's a really inspiring city. You just have to walk around and see so much beauty. In 2010, Catalonia banned bullfighting, so they turned their big boring into a massive shopping centre that has restaurants on the top. So you can go up there, you can take a special lift right to the top, and what it does gives you an amazing view, but we're not going to stop there, we're going to go to Montjuïc which is an area that I go to quite often just because it's close to my house and it's stunningly beautiful. Montreal Castle is 173 meters above sea level. You can see it behind me. And it dates back to the 16th century. It's stunningly beautiful. I'm gonna take you for a quick tour. Here we are at the beginning of Montreal and now I'm gonna attempt the stairs. You can come with me and see. As you can see behind me, they're setting up for a festival. Spain is a really outside city and they have so many events, so many tourist attractions going on. You can just live outside all year and look at that blue sky. And as you can see, I finally reached the top and what a view. That's a lot of tourists because it's a big tourist site, but it just wows me every single time I come out here. Um, as you can see, that was our first stop on the day in Montjuïc. It's already really hot and I'm getting quite sweaty, so I'm going to jump on the metro and take to the next bus. So, here we are in my second favourite place. This is Plaza Catalunya. It's Barcelona's equivalent to New York Times Square or London's Trafalgar Square. It's where the tourists come, it's quite pretty, but why we're here is we're going to go up to Passage de Gracia, which is Barcelona's shopping street. What's amazing about it is it mixes all the high-end beauty, Prada, with some of the high streets. Predominantly Spanish high street, but it's a great mix. And being a fashion designer, I could spend all day walking up and down this street. Barcelona's most famous architect is Gaudi, and also on Passage de Gracia, it's one of its two most famous works. This one is Casa Batillo. It's an amazing architectural structure building. I've been inside both, but the beauty is on the outside. Another one of Gaudi buildings on Passage de Gracia is La Padera. You can imagine building this. He was from the 18th century. It's quite amazing. Well, that's two of my favourite places in Barcelona done. Now it's time for a spot of lunch and then I'll take you to my final destination for the day. My last stop of the day has to be Barcelona at Beach. And a bonus for that is you get to walk past the harbour and see all the super yachts. And this, guys, is why we moved to Barcelona. How amazing is it that you can spend your day going about doing the things you need to do and then just end up on the beach. It's like taking a vacation every day. So, I'm taking you to see some history. 
I've taken you shopping, I've had a bit of lunch, and now it's time for my siesta. Adios, and if you like this channel, please subscribe below.